Welcome back everyone. Self-published and independently produced, zines are a cool way to make diverse voices heard in everything from sci-fi to political activism. And if you're not familiar with the art form, the Arts Council of Lake Oswego is here to help you out. We've got Stephanie Johnson with the council, local illustrator Kate Bingham Burt, and artist and writer Hannah Kim are all here to tell us about this new exhibit. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. First, I think zines are so interesting because they have such a rich history. Just tell us a little bit about it. They date back to the 1930s. They do. One of the things that I absolutely love about zines is that they can be literally about anything you want them to be. Mm. No one is giving you permission to make the thing that you want to see in the world, which is really wonderful. So cool. And this exhibit is showcasing zines from all over the world. What can we expect? We've got over 400 zines on display. Um, many from right here in Portland on loan from Kate, um, from Hannah, and from the Independent Publishing Resource Center. The Multnomah County Library has a fabulous zine collection that you can check out and read. Um, and a couple personal collections and zines that we got from local zinesters. That's so cool. So Hannah, tell us about this art form. I mean, it's a way of self-expression. I mean, you can see right here, many through art, but also through word. Why is this so powerful? Yeah, I think it's powerful because you don't have to go through any gatekeepers. You sort of mm. self-publish and there's an immediacy to that. So for me, I have zines uh, with my poetry in them and I was able to just compile them myself and print them and share them with people without having to, you know, go through like a publisher or something more formal. There's something so special yeah. about that too. You kind of, you know, it's like you have the power in your own hands. Is there something kind of freeing and, and controlling at the same time? Absolutely. And and people, so I've, I've, I've taught zine workshops over the last 10 years and, and it's from little kids to, you know, older kids to older adults <laughs> and it's it's from people who have an artistic background to people who've never made anything before and at the end of the workshop they're like I can't believe I made this and not only do they make one thing but they've made 10 things and they can give them and share them and I think it's really in the power of distribution too mm -hmm. which yeah. you really see kind of the magic of what this paper can can convey and do for people and so that's really it's really special it's so exciting and it's really wonderful that this this exhibition is happening yeah whatever your mind can create and think the zine gives you the power to do that it's so cool so this is all on display for you at uh, the uh, Lake Oswego Art Council you can check it out it's the art of homemade resistance it's open right now runs through May 22nd and you can find that on Tuesdays through Fridays 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. more info at Arts Council Org. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us and showcasing this absolutely amazing work. Thank you. So thank you. Cool.